going on YouTube, Techlos back with another video. And today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing of the WDTV and also the My Passport Ultra. And this is a two terabyte drive. So little backstory on this purchase. This is gonna be uh, for a friend. We're gonna be updating uh, them with some movies. I have over 300 Blu-rays on my hard drive. And uh, you know, this friend is gonna be is not too technical, didn't want to buy, you know, home theater PC and go that route. So we went with this route, which is getting a media player and then putting the media on the actual hard drive. Now, the cool thing about these WD, this WD TV is originally when I first started, you know, watching media on the TV, uh, watching movies, I actually had one of these WD media players and my media player only played certain codecs. I believe at the time it was just MP4 and AVI. Uh, now with new technology, we have this WDTV, which does play, if we can see if you can get that in focus there, uh, MPEG, XVID, MKV, ISOs, MP4s, MOVs, WMVs, and JPEGs. Um, so a wide variety of you know, different formats can be played on this. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the My Passport. So this is the My Passport, again, Ultra, and it also comes with Auto Cloud Backup. Again, this is a two terabyte drive, and they say here, premium storage. Also, if you look down here, it does say that it has a three year limited warranty, so that's pretty cool. Moving around the box, just kind of tells you what's going on with this drive. It does have USB 2 and USB 3, and it is compatible, compatible with Windows 8. And on the back, just a little bit more information about the cloud backup and other things about privacy and, and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and open this box here. I don't have my cutter with me ready, so I'll go ahead and use a key here. I'm gonna go actually ahead and rip the box open since I was not prepared. And since I probably will never ever put this back in here. Nor will the person that's getting this. So, again, the thing about these uh, hard drives, as we get it out here, the thing about these hard drives is that they're becoming smaller and smaller. Um, I know for, and, and also price point. You can get, you know, a terabyte drive now that comes really, really small, but it's very expensive. But for the size of this thing, um, you know, being, you know, a two terabyte drive, it's pretty small. So inside the package, we do have this little My Passport Ultra pamphlet, and this is just gonna give you, you know, a quick setup guide and other information, but we don't really need that. And then looking at the drive itself, it does have this kind of, you know, dotted design on it, and you can see a little bit of reflection in there, but it's not picking up much of, you know, fingerprints, so I actually like that. So, plastic casing, but very well, I would say a high plastic, as they say, and right here we got some information about it. On the side we have USB 3.0, and obviously it works with USB 2.0, but it does have that USB 3.0 cable in the box. So, obviously backwards compatible with that USB 2.0. So something interesting about this is this one doesn't take a power cord. So this is actually powered off the device or if you plug it into a computer or a PC, it is powered off of that. So very light, very small, two terabytes, more than enough room for me to fill that with those 300 movies that I have. Um, you know, my movies are different capacities from, I would say, around four gigabytes to 15 gigabytes each each movie file. So we'll go ahead and put this to the side here and we'll take a look at this. Again, this is the WD TV media player and it says play all your media files on your TV. So moving around here, it does show this easy setup. Let's see if we can focus in here better. So we got the easy setup, one, two, three. It has a little diagram of the different ports and we'll take a look at those. And on the back, again, it does talk about those different codecs. And it also does have YouTube, Hulu, Pandora, 
Series XM and Vudu movies and TV. So it doesn't have Netflix, but it does have that Hulu and YouTube, which would be usable. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this. Coming out of the box, we do have technical support. Throw that to the side. Here is probably a little quick start guide, so telling you what comes in the package and probably a quick setup guide. And you see the presentation here of the box, so we do have the device itself, we have the power, and then we have the remote. So let's go ahead and pull this power pack out. Nothing interesting here, just a regular power pack, little brick power pack. It has a proprietary dongle on there, so I'm not even gonna pull that out. But we will take a look at the control. So this is the controller, and it's your standard media controller. Uh, home power. Something that I, I liked about this controller is the fact that if any of you have, you know, VLC on your computer or something and you use that to play your movies, sometimes you have to click the audio over. Maybe the movie is downloaded with a German or Russian uh, audio file and you can just press this audio file button right here and it will switch them over to different tracks to find that English tracks. Track, excuse me. And also the subtitle button to be able to just hit that and turn the subtitles off. So again, pretty good light remote. It does have a matte finish. So again, no fingerprints. So liking that a lot. And then here is the device itself. Oh, it does also come with this composite cord, which probably will not be used. So we'll go ahead and set that box to the side. And take a look here at the device itself. So here we go, this is the WDTV. And we'll go ahead and take this plastic off. So here's the actual, oh, we got a little more plastic here. Here's the actual device itself. Again, this is a WDTV uh, media player. We have a USB, uh, probably, I believe this actually only has 2.0, but I will check on that. But we have a USB, a standard USB, uh, you know, female jack here. And on the back, you have your main connections. So we do have USB, HDMI, Ethernet, and it does have an optical audio connection if you want to use that. And again, it's just pretty simple, you know. So a simple setup, again, with our WD TV media player, we got a remote, we got our cable, and then we got our My Passport Ultra 2.0 hard drive. We're going to throw some movies on here. And then we're going to use this media player to be able to uh, to be able to use this. And uh, going back to what I was talking about earlier, when I first had mine originally, this is like 2005. This is the system that I used. And to tell you the truth, I have been able to use this device, and it's so much more streamlined. Where it's it's really nice. It almost tempts me to say, you know, maybe I'll buy one of these to use for my movies. No, with the fact that I could just use my home theater PC. I mean, it's that streamlined that it works that well. So go ahead and end this video here. Thanks for watching. We will do another video showing you how this thing works and see you in the next video. And thanks for watching and please subscribe.